Hello everybody, welcome back to this uh, Let's Play of Flint Hook with your truly Slow Wolf. It's been a little while, I apologize, but there were some other series that needed a little bit more help before we did anything else. I'd like to go ahead and start over, yes please. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start up another run. Last time we ended up getting the Cursed Ghost from the Gold Feathers uh, campaign. We need to go into Baron Von Goos now to do the exact same thing. I, I really don't want to do the hard campaigns yet. Uh, also, I don't think it's possible with Bat Billy Bullseye to get the cursed ships. So we're going to go for Baron Von Goo and see if we can't get the uh, the last ghost we need. Perilous Dice. Randomly obtain 18 PP worth of perks and maybe curses. Throwing the dice gives you more XP. I'm, I'm tempted <laughs> to actually give this a whirl. Screw it. Let's go. <laughs> this will end well. Alright, any place where there's... Yeah, Devil's Lodge. We gotta go for the places that have curses first and foremost. The faster we can get the curse, the faster we can get the ghost. And then at that point, it doesn't matter if we beat Varen Von Goo. Um, we just need to get the ghost. Get the green ghosty. This could be great. Like, we, the random perks we might and curses we might obtain might be just like the best things we've ever had. <laughs> but knowing my RNG, uh, knowing my luck, ain't gonna be happening. So, how are we... Oh, right. Uh, how are we doing? Other button. Perilous Dice has given a sharpshooter, death door, extra bell time, more apples, a little bit of HP, more bang for our bomb, some extra loot, I cannot be shocked, extra slow mo gauge, and more sub weapons. Nothing bad. I mean, and there's a couple things that are really good in here. I mean, very specifically, Raging Bell is not bad at all. So, you know what? I'll, I'll take it for what it's worth. I'm not saying it's going to be particularly good. Get down here. Well, I see I see where the problem lies in this one. Thank you, and blast the crap out of all the rest of these guys. Whoa, what? What have you done? Jump over them, thank you. The extra crit chances are very welcome, by the way. Thank you, video game. I appreciate that. Wah. Okay, what's going on? Thank you. Dodge the stuff. Dodge the things and the stuff. And now blast at least one of these guys, because these uh, alligators are assholes. Jump down, get up, grab the bomb. Oh, that was golden! For the okay, can I just toot my horn for a second? There was a lot of good combat in there. This is my first time I've looked at Flint Hook in a little while, and we managed to pull that off pretty, pretty well. It's not my, you know, it's not my first time being, you know born or anything. I wasn't born yesterday for the first time or whatever, or the last time, I guess. I mean, depending on whether you subscribe to, you know, reincarnation and all that stuff. Which is, which is a weird concept, if you think about it. You did really good in the last life. You get to be something other than probably the most intelligent, most successful race on the planet. Uh, what would that be? You know what? It's a good question. What would that be? If you could... Okay, look, I would like to get the loot, please. The loot is a kind of tantamount to our success here. Nice. Nice. Get up. Thank you. Okay. But, like, other than being human, what would you want to be? Like, oh, I'd like to be a dog. Why Why would you want to be a dog? Dogs, like, fundamentally lack a good chunk of the stuff that they need to be, uh, you know, particularly, like, to have an easy life. Unless if you're a domesticated dog. But even if you're a domesticated dog, I mean, have you been to less developed countries? That, that shit is not nice to, like, dogs are, dogs are kind of, I mean, how do I describe this without coming across this very, like, culturally insensitive? I mean, I guess I'm already down the shit rabbit hole on that front. Um, what I'm trying to get at is, in some places, dogs are really just not that important. Like, they're not seen as an important aspect of uh, family life or whatever. It's not like they're, they're a part of the family. Uh, quite the contrary, they're seen as tools, you know? It's like, a, it's like having a hammer in your tool shed. Oh, you got a dog. That's nice. It must keep the rats away. That's pretty cool. And, like, that's that's a crazy thought coming from, uh, that's a pretty crazy thinking, you know, coming from me anyway, or coming to me, I suppose, since I'm used to you know, this, this world that we live in and everything. But I've been to a couple of different places where that wasn't the case. Uh, the one place I've been to where it's like, you know, hey, dogs are just, you know, dogs, it's just another creature that seems to live amongst us, it's like a chicken or whatever, not a big deal. Um, or, you know, a cat or whatever, it just, it's there literally to... To get rid of stuff that we find, you know, to be a pest. Uh, one of those places was Honduras. I, I went to Honduras when I was in high school, and it was a pretty neat trip. Do I want to do this for a chest? Like the, 
We have to learn this room at some point. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It feels bad not to learn it now, but at the same time, just fuck it, dude. Fuck that room. That room sucks. Anyway, Honduras. It was a like a cool trip. We ended up going there just so we... Oh, we're shockproof, aren't we? I don't give a shit about this guy, do I? Am I shockproof in the sense that I just don't take damage from the electricity? I gotta test this. Jump into it. Okay, you don't get immunity to the damage, but you do get immunity to the to the shock factor afterwards. So that's something, at least. Um, this seems like a traversal room, so let's go back a second. Because the Devil's Lodge could be back there, and if it's back there, then we need to, we need to, like, take a long, hard look at how we want to, you know, make this run work. Because if we can't go to the Devil's Lodge, then, like, we're gonna just have a bad time. We, we need the curses. That's the, that's the point of these runs. Back on topic. So, yeah, give this to me, please. The game works speed the rate of your firepower is now slower. Oh, no. And, uh, know how. Even more XP. You know, uh, that's exactly the freaking thing I wanted was just a shit ton of experience. <laughs> Sign me up for another. Anyway, Honduras is a weird place. I liked it. It was a really good trip because uh, we ended up going there to... Oh, smart move. Good moves. Oh, God. The smartest of moves. Only here at slowwolfgaming.tv slash, you know, your subscription, please. Um, it, it was a really good trip because we ended up going to the uh, Hunter and Jungle and effectively... We were trying to survey the jungle so that way we could uh, try to catalog the, you know, species that live there in the fort. Like, you know, the types of trees and all that stuff. The idea was... Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. The idea was that we would be able to catalog a number of somewhat more rare species in an attempt to... Whoa, that was a little, little bad damage. To try to, you know, help conservation efforts do a good job of what they were trying to do. Okay, focus on this dick bag. Yeah, you're gonna take damage from the pufferfish dude. That's fine. Okay. This guy is not taking a lot of easy damage, honestly. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and then that that was good damage. You know, what? don't worry about it. We got a chance at more apples anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, this run's going fine. Don't don't worry about the run. Okay. I want to talk about Honduras. Let's talk about Honduras. It was a really cool trip, but I remember I was just like walking around in one of the villages that was up on the mountain that we were, uh, you know, that we were effectively going down on through over the course of the entire trip. Like we, uh, I'd rather have the bomb. I'm not using the bomb, I'll be honest with you, but like I'd rather have the bomb. And while we're like walking around this village, there's just like there's dogs everywhere. There's dogs. There were chickens. There were cats. They just like walk around doing their thing. I was like. Why does no one want to take care of these beautiful little canines? What's wrong with them? And the cats, I just want to take them all home. But, I mean, you don't. You just, you don't. So, I mean, that's that, I guess. The other place I've been to that was like that was uh, Tanzania. I taught there for two weeks. Chopping block, we gotta go. Um, was Tanzania. And Tanzania was a, you know, a pretty cool place to be. I met a lot of, uh incredible kids and a lot of incredible people as well like the the people there are are something else but um despite the fact that tanzania was a beautiful place to to go to and um a heartbreaking place to teach honestly because of the quality of the education system oh god i just noticed the freaking spiky platforms there we have to like time everything perfectly there's more spiky platforms be ready good stuff don't take any more dumb damage than you have to, okay? Good stuff, good stuff. Focus. Damn, bad damage. It's fine, it happens. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, like, it was a great place to be. Heart-wrenching to teach there. But, uh, you know, like, it, like we, we did it just to find out, first off, what heart-wrenching meant, I suppose. But then on top of that, you know, like, taking a look at like how poverty, you know, you know, looks in other countries and all that stuff. I got some stories about that for another time. Um, honestly, but yeah, it, the, the, the other thing there was that there was like two dogs that lived at, uh, one of the places where I was going, where I was spending the majority of our time. See, we were there primarily to help out one orphanage in particular, uh, and this orphanage, ooh, uh, this orphanage has a, like, you know, has a couple of dogs that were running around, one of which that we decided, I decided to call Foxy, and the other one I decided to call Mangle, because at the time... 
Five Nights at Freddy's was a popular thing, and then on top of that, there was a, a reddish, like, reddish, rusty kind of colored dog, and then there was a white kind of colored dog, and they were both, like, you know, had fox-like features. Like, you know, they both have very pointy faces, long ears. You know, it, it made sense. It made sense. Don't don't tell me it does not make sense. It definitely does. You know, just... I was going to try to use a bomb there, and I thought better of it. Okay, good. Good, good use of a bomb. No, uh, no spike pits there? No? Good. Ah, well, this would have been the best place to use my bomb. Ah, oh, god, bad damage. Okay, please give me an extra apple this time, that'd be nice. But yeah, what were the dogs doing? Just hanging out, doing their own thing, eating rats, having babies. I mean, like, I've heard Tales of Your Courage took, but my axe has not. Okay. Reduces your max HP by a small amount. Yep, 30. It's not a big deal. Pepper shot here should be fine. Increases our crit damage by a little bit. Considering that we got Sharpshooter, at least it's synergistic. Um, do I want to buy the potion? No, I don't have a, enough of a deficit of HP, but I'll buy the shield for sure. And since we don't need to waste the key, let's not. Every ship gives you enough keys to get through every single locked door, but like it just doesn't seem like it's needed here, so... Oh, please. Yeah! Two shields? Sign me up! Anyway... Um, it's just, it's cool that, you know, there are different cultures and they all see things differently, but, man, that, like, the fact that even dogs are like, oh, well, you know, it's just, it, it, everybody thinks of them so differently compared to, uh, you know, from culture to culture, it's, it's rad and all, but I mean, in some other cultures it gets even crazier, like, you know, a dog is just another animal, I mean, you could, you could eat dog meat, and it's like, whatever, who cares, and I suppose when times are dire enough, yeah, sure, man, like, you gotta eat what you gotta eat, but um, it, it, it's always a little, it's always a little weird getting that kind of culture shock uh, in a place. Lawless hat, sign me up. Is that a, it is a duplicate? I disagree with this. <laughs> it, it's always just kind of crazy to think about how different uh, different cultures are and everything, and even when it comes to stuff as basics as you think is, uh, you know, oh, animals are, like, you know, dogs are cute and we should, like, treat them all uh, as if they're really, really adorable all the time and, uh, you know, they're a part of the family. Like, they're not. In some cultures, they're just, they're not. They did not, they're, they're not family, Mark. They're not, you know. <laughs> they're food. <laughs> That's, I'm gonna go into some really dark territory for a second. Dogs are food, not friends. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. <laughs> Let's just avoid this topic for the foreseeable future. Uh, like, man who's shitting himself needs to, like, leave. Thank you. <laughs> just go away. Okay, good stuff. Head on downstairs and get out of here. Easiest treasure chest of my life. Oh, God. I knew that there were spikes there, too, and everything, and I just walked over it like a fool. Okay, now would be the time to go. I got hit for one shield. It's not a big deal, honestly. Get rid of the hack fly. Not a problem again. And easiest time of my life. Let's go. It's a boss. Okay, not a hard boss either. It's, it's got a slight lack of uh, bombing ability, which feels bad, my man. But um, it's not awful. Why? Jump over it. Thank you. Thank you, Slow Mo, by the way, for existing in this video game, because if you did not, I think this video game would be impossible. You know, the other day, and by the other day, I mean like this morning, I was reading an article about uh, that the developer of Tumbleseed uh, wrote. And, I, and I'm only mentioning this because it, it might have some interesting implications for the, the developers of Flintook. Not that they are watching this. Like, let's be perfectly honest here. Uh, the developers of Flintook have better things to do than watch a uh, B-grade... C grade, Z grade, um, you know, primarily awesome knots YouTuber to talk about their video game. Uh, but one of the things that came up in the article that I thought found was very, very interesting was just how hard, um, you know, their game was. Tumble Seed is, for those of you who don't know, a, a roguelike, roguelite, sorry, type of game where you effectively tip a marble back and forth, the marble gets powers, and you go up and up and up and up and up. It's very, very difficult. Incredibly challenging, in fact. And part of it that they, um, you know, part of the reason that they talked about it in the game was that the look of the game, and then the gamlinger. We have to go to the five, don't we? Oh wait, no, there's a four here with the gamlinger as well. 
and lots of bazaars. We could definitely go here instead. Um, part of the part of the problem with Tumble Seed was that it looked like it was supposed to be an easy game, and then was just incredibly flippin' difficult. Uh, the majority of people didn't get like when they looked at the stats. There's a massive drop off of people that uh, played at certain levels of the game, which is apparently very very odd for for most games. Like there's supposed to be a more linear kind of curve for that. Like people are not supposed to play your game forever. I think that that much uh, makes sense. But um, double blast, y'all. Yeah, Jesus, this the biggest easiest to land bullet I've ever seen in my life. Um, but like part of the disconnect there and the reason why people stopped playing it was because it was too hard. You know, it just it didn't sync up. Uh, yeah, hand me this, please. You'll outlast the next blast. We we just saved ourselves ten damage. I'm not sure if that was worth it in the long run, but we'll find out, I guess, later. Ooh, fighting room. Um, and I think that Flint took, might suffer from a similar problem. You know, just this idea that, what? No, oh God, you idiot. Uh, might suffer from a similar problem where just the difficulty is quite high. I don't think that's the sole problem of the game, though. And I think that the difficulty of Flint took is actually pretty on point. Overall, like, I, I actually really like the difficulty of this game. Once I got used to it, not a problem. Like, there are some rooms that feel unfair, but... For the most part, those don't exist. Like, I, I feel like once I've learned a bunch of the rooms, I'm like, this is fine. And even some of the harder rooms, I'm like, I'll never touch this room again in my life. Like, uh, oh, I don't know, that one room I said fuck it to earlier in this run? Yeah, man, I, I can understand why you'd say that. that. That makes sense to me. Okay, please, just kill... Oh. There are so many things going on with this room right now. Oh, lucky crit. I'll take it, though. Um, let's wait for these guys to blast. Try not to land in the fire. Uh, you landed in the fire. Not smart. That's fine. Um, but like a lot of the difficulty of this game comes from the fact that like you can't always see what's going on, and that part I can understand. Like if you're like a lot of stuff is hard to parse out. Like really hard to parse out. The uh, spike traps, for instance, easy to forget that they're there. Um, even and like it's really hard to even see where they're going from. Okay, we need to get a curse. So, go for green, effectively. Try not to go for green that has a heart on it, but I think all of the green... Oh, there's one on there that does not have a heart on it. I just missed it. <laughs> Fuck! No! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, well, we, we messed that up. Um, so, the bad news here is that we might not get our ghost ship after all, and that feels bad, because the gambling is... Probably the worst part of that whole, uh, you want to get your stuff, uh, business done. What, we don't have a key? Pardon? I mean, like, you know, that, that sucks. Um, but, oh, that, that's rough. Like, ah, I thought we had that. I should have just gone for whichever one I could see, you know? But, yeah, part of, part of Flint Hook is, like, the difficulty wrapped up with the fact that there are no really meaningful ways to make it easier. The perks help a bit. But outside of just playing and losing and playing and then losing and playing and then losing, like there's no way to really decrease the difficulty of the game um, other than just increasing your HP through black market coins. Like black, like increasing your HP and getting tanky that way is the easiest way to make the game easier. And it literally just involves you playing a lot more. There's nothing else to it. Which feels bad, I'm pretty sure. But Pirates of Vigor, 900. I mean, it's pretty sweet to have. Let's just double. Let's just make sure we get the snack attack and go on from there. I don't think we need the vigor quite yet. I mean, I could be horribly wrong on that front, but we'll find out later, huh? Okay, another shield, scaly sea dog, take less damage, shockproof. We've already got that, so it's literally useless. Um, scaly sea dog could be very helpful for later on fights, so I'll take it. Second shield doesn't hurt either. Okay, uh, we also missed a room downstairs. No, 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 no. I, I, I misread how the ramp was supposed to look there. My bad. Anyway, so game is hard. But game is more than fair, I think, in a lot of cases. The issue is just sometimes it's a little hard to see. Uh... Jesus, what the fuck room is that? Please let this be the boss. So I don't have to go through that room. It's not. It's a treasurium. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the treasurium, but... Let's just pop this. I know this is dumb, but like, I'm, I'm an impatient man, okay? And I want my loot. 
Oh, I got hit by the freaking daggers. On the sides, of all things. Then we go into the into the hell room. It's not so bad, but like. Oh, never mind. It's awful. There's spikes on the bottom, and it sucks. Get okay. Get your now go. Yeah. Okay. Good. We managed to only get through there for taking one part of damage. That's probably fine. Oh god, they're everywhere. Why are they everywhere? Go. <laughs> Good kill. Get the loot from it, if at all possible. Thank you. But yeah, Flint Hook, good game. I like it a lot. Tumble Seed has a lesson to learn from it. I th Ooh, Frost Globe. Do we have a thing for Frost Globe? I don't think so. It would be probably just faster just to stick with our bomb for now if we can land it. But, okay. You know what? I, I, reg I regret my decision. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel really bad for having done the decision I have. The good news is, we managed to make it through in a good way anyway, so I'm not worried about this. We managed to bomb two of them. That was an excellent bomb. Okay. Someone told me that these guys don't do anything unless you move towards them. And as a result, you can kind of plan your attack a little. But I disagree. This is bullshit. Wah. Fuck you. Get out of the spike corner! Why do you have to shoot through walls? Why is my range garbage? Why do you suck? Jesus, that took way too long to get used to. Whoa! My flint hook like carried me. Um you know, let's go back a little bit, see what else there is on the ship. We might be able to get some more uh, HP or something out of it. And who knows, maybe there's some more curses that we can get without uh, having to resort to the gambling or not that I think that's possible or anything, unfortunately. Um TikTok. Bullet time. I'm not solid on the bullet time. The TikTok here, however, is a good pickup. Do I want the space meat? Not positive. I mean, this room ain't. It, it, it's not so bad. Just keep moving, right? The getting out part's gonna suck. Okay, stay here. This guy's gonna try to do his thing. You know, go up here and just like let's pass. Yeah, okay, easy room. See? What I say? Some rooms are a lot easier than they look. Let's get out of here. Let's, let's just go. Whoa. Ah, not, not this time, you fools. I will not be tricked again into <laughs> slingshotting myself into the flippin' ceiling. <laughs> no, not happening. Alright. Decent apples. We're at reasonable HP. Our range is still garbage. Which is not good. Um, But you know what? It's fine. We still need to get a curse ship within the next, uh, like, two ships, I think. Man, how many uh, how many curses do you need to get a, a ghost ship? Is my question. We really tried with that gambling room. We fucked up. I, I if that screws up this entire episode, I I won't have a shit fit because you know that's just the nature of the game. Flint Hook is an arcade game. End of the oh Devil's Lodge again. Twirlington territory feels like a bad bad day. I hate those. Plus gambling room is not guarantee. Yeah, we're gonna go for a uh, Devil's Lodge. Now the downside is that this is the toughest ship out of the bunch. Has a labyrinth. And tough enemies. This is this is ugly. Um Devil's Lodge is going to do what? Reduce my HP, I think. We get a chest. It might have a, a perk. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's man up. Woman up, person up, human up, brave up. Strong up. We're gonna do what we need to do in order to get this curse guaranteed. So Devil's Lodge it is. It's not a big deal, it's just a really shitty deal with the devil. Uh six difficulty ship. When I don't have all that much HP. Here's the deal. We're gonna go in here. We're not gonna get anything yet, because if we get damaged, I'd like to come back and get that uh that fairy fountain bit here. Oh, this room stinks a little bit, but it's not a big deal, so we'll move on. Good handling there, that situation. Good stuff. Okay. Our shots, by the way, our shot speed is awful. Like, that is actually atrocious. <laughs> Someone save me for myself, please. What's off the left? Probably a really hard, tough treasure room. No, it's just loot. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with loot. Loot's fine. Shit. Let me in the loot room. Let me in the loot room! There's a red coin. I want it! Oh, God. Run. Thank you. 
Like, I'm just trying to parse the matrix right now. Like, my eyes are literally everywhere but on my character. There we go. We got through. Uh, we took enough damage now that if that Fairy Fountain is extra HP, like a heal, it should be enough that we, like, get a benefit from it. More health is better than wealth. We actually increased our max HP. That's good. I definitely should have taken that over the gold. I'm quite pleased about that. Now, let's get the heck out of dodge. Maybe get some uh, other stuff done here. Ooh. Is that long shot? It's as if the game read my mind and decided to give me exactly what I wanted for my birthday. It's insane. Shit. Okay, keep, keep dodging the uh, angry man. There we go. Got out of there, and it's just a shield. Uh, I mean, I'll take the just a shield, because like we've bought enough shields on this run at this point that uh, we've saved ourselves like easily 50 to 40 HP. Like, easily, without any contest. Okay. Still looking for the Devil's Lodge. It's effectively the big room we need to find. Don't get caught up on those spikes there. Good crit. That was the easiest crit of my life. Boingy. Uh, I, I, I demanded a Boingy. I did not get the Boingy I had uh, initially envisioned for myself. Please die. Thank you. Get rid of these two. Jump over that gap. Bounce up over the things. Jump down. Look at this. Handled like a master that bomb almost got me i disagree with the fact that that bomb almost got me but that's okay we're not gonna get knife man's gold we managed to get through there without taking a scratch we got a key for it like that was a good room that was a good room here's our devil's lodge okay here's our curse does it take three curses to get on a ghost ship we'll find out gain more hp but your plasma pistol is now weaker sad it's not weak enough to make me feel like this is impossible, but th this is bad overall, and we got only like a 5 HP increase. I'm not sure if that's worth it, I'll be honest with you. But that's not the point. Like, these runs are pretty much characterized by the fact that they are, uh... Like, they're, they're tough from the get-go. Like, trying to unlock the good ending is supposed to be a challenge, and this is certainly a start towards that. Decent amount of loot, thank you. Uh, map tells us... We need to go exactly there. Okay. Um, let's go down first. And what kind of treasure room is it? It's easy? Not easy. There's three of these things. Go now. Never mind, it is easy. What was I talking about? There's a fighting bell. I'm tempted to pick this up and not use it yet. Oh, by the skin of my pantaloons, guys. That was too close. Okay, no, no, no. Get out of here. That's not what I wanted to do. See what I wanted to do. Wah! Oh, that was bad damage. Don't even talk to me about the damage I just took. Okay, leftwards brings us here to this room. This room's kind of... Kind of shysty, I'm not gonna lie to you, but... It's not so bad. He says he realizes there's a, a squid... Squid man on the ship, and... He's trying to shoot me from a distance, and it sucks. There's blasters everywhere because of the dudes in the middle. And... Fuck it, just go. No, you get back here. You will die. End of story. The fact that that man exists. Multiples of this man exists? That was incredible. We still have one more, but at least we've gone through the hardest part, I think. Okay, Twirlington, get over here, buddy. Not having enough firepower against those guys could easily be a problem. And yet still, here we are. We managed it. Good stuff. Okay. I don't know why I was even worried. Easiest fight of my life. What am I? What am I? What was I talking about? Okay, so minus loot. More, more loot at this point does not seem like it's my primary concern. I'll be honest with you. We I think we got enough. But you know what? No, 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 no. Be smart. Be smart. Get this while you can. It's a little bit cheaper thanks to the accidental uh, deal you got earlier. I mean, if we're being totally frank with one another. There we go. For being totally frank with another, eh, more loot never hurt. Do I want the loot in this room enough to warrant going through all this crap? I mean, we took 10 damage. That's bad. But, like, not a big deal. We have 170 uh, or so HP, so I'll take it, I guess. Another 10 damage off of the, uh, the guys who are shitting themselves. We're probably going to take another 20 damage on the way out, apparently. Uh, at least that's, you know, as far as this room's going. Is the loot going to be worth it? 
No. No, not even close. <laughs> There's another 10. There's the 20. Good dodging there, honestly. Quite pleased with how that turned out. Ah, oh, there's 30. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, I would've been very upset if I had been hit there. Okay, right, overall, not the best room we've ever had. I won't lie to you. It feels bad that we've uh, that we played that badly there, but could've been worse. And we got a shield, and we're gonna get more apples, and things could be worse. Let's just pray we don't run into another room with a bunch of fucking uh, Squidwards again that uh, bounce around a room full of like blasts and spikes and oh, it's, it's this room. It's, it's this room's a lot of fun. Don't mind if I, I just never want to see this room again. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. There's starfishies. Oh god, get me out of the hell that I found myself in. Oh Jesus, that was bad damage to take. That was awful damage to take. Ay ay ay. Okay, get rid of this man before he does anything stupid, like try to kill you or something. Okay, well, we've, we've taken a lot of dumb damage. Okay, managed, overall. That's not the way I aimed at, I swear. Good. Now the missiles are still gonna shoot to get the feeling. Yeah, they are. Thank you. Okay, we got one apple for that. Don't even worry about it. We have a snack attack. We're good to go. We got another apple out of that, even. Uh, pick up the bomb, then pick up the space shell. Mash the space shell. Uh, space shell? Space shell into oblivion. Oh, it's getting tense. It's getting tense. We're not yet at the point where uh, I'm happy with our with our run at any step, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. But you know what? It could be. It could be worse. We are uh, like purposefully shooting ourselves in the foot by picking up all of these curses in order to get uh, an extraneous uh, external uh, bonus here, which we might get this time. If it takes three ghosts, it does take three ghosts. Okay, so it takes three curses to do. The fact that we missed that one gambling here does not cost us too much. Fine. Five skulls. It's fogful. And the only reason we won last time so easily was because we had Featherfall. We do not have Featherfall this time. So if we've got another boss where we have to fly around, we're gonna have a bad time. Give me a boss where I have to stay on the ground and see what happens to your precious boss, you jokers. All right, 120 HP. Now, th now the game's real. I don't see any spike traps. There's loot at the top of this. <gasps> Shit. It's still worth it if I get up there this time without taking too much damage. Okay. Ah. Okay. Frightening. Does it go all the way into the corner? It does not. If we can just hook ourselves into the corner, we should be okay. Now, once that thing passes by, I can see the matrix. Okay, we're good. Set. Do I already have it? I did not have that relic as well. So you know what? Progress has been made on this run. At the very least, we're another step towards 100%. Now that that's the goal of this Let's Play, I'll be honest with you, I get the feeling that the goal of this Let's Play is going to be uh, far less... Uh... Okay, we Far less uh, ambitious than that. 100% is a really ambitious goal, so I'm not, I'm not aiming for that too much. We got a bomb. I don't see any spikes on the ground. These guys do four and blasters all over the place. Good, easy. Like, the difference between the green and the purple versions of those shamans, really, really minimal. Because of the fact that they just, they do the same thing, just one extra. The biggest difference between green people and not green versions are the, uh, definitely like the run-of-the-mill grunty blaster guys, right? Because those guys go from shooting one bullet to shooting three, which just makes it a freaking bullet hell. Good stuff. We should have used the bomb in there somewhere, but... Okay. Apple. Two apples! Baby, that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, we're, in another, we're not in another fight room. Okay, just... Yeah, easy, easy room. We're not going back to the other room ever again, but, like, you know, easy room. Um... We got enough time so that this should be easy to get through. Yep. Ooh. There's a spike trap over there. 
And obviously we're missing something over here. Uh, let's go down first this time, see what happens. It's a traversal room. Well, they, they all are. It feels like all these rooms are trying to get us to go someplace else. I don't appreciate it any. Um, yeah, let's give up for the shield. I'll ask the next blast is probably more important than anything else. Here we go, a battle room. This is what I'm looking for, please. More of these. Especially when I can just do this. Oh, look at how easily roasted you became. Granted, this is probably not the time to use said bomb, but like it was easy and it looked like it was gonna hit more people. Blast him. Thank you. Now just dodge all of those, then go after the big man in the middle. Grab this. Oh, this is an easy one. Kill it. Thing. Hold on. These guys just shoot more quickly, right? That's the difference between green and not green versions of those uh, those squiddy guys. The other squiddy guys. Um, what's this room up here that we haven't checked out yet? It's a traversal room that I don't care to go through. Screw that. Okay, I see, I see, said the blind man as he peed into the wind. This room is fucking shitting with me now. Get out of here. Okay, jump over the thing, get rid of... Oh, God. Ah, uh, we, like that, we were gonna take a hit off of that for sure. Goddamn green dudes. Okay. Not a problem. Oh god, I missed my thing. And I'm gonna get hit again. Okay, that's fine. It's 20 damage. It could have been worse. Not much worse. Could have been worse. Okay, yeah, that's right. You try to chase me. Ring around the rosy, baby. Okay, we got a key. Um, head out of here for a second. Think for a minute. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go back for one of those key rooms? I'm not so positive on that idea. It could be the like game winner, though. And there is an easy way back to the key room, so... Let's just do that. Uh, I said easy, I was wrong. Or was I? Oh! Right. Those platforms move. You jerk. <laughs> okay, bad hit. It's fine. Only eight damage. It's not the biggest deal on the planet. And you at least get to check out what's in here. It's a shop, okay. More HP is a thing. Bandits bandages, that would be really sick. No lie. The extra heals coupled with everything else we got going on would be massive. How much do I need for it though? Another hundred and something? You know what, I'll, I'll save up for that. That's probably fine. Um, Get the, maybe if we blast this thing it'll help. It did help a little bit, that's fine. <laughs> a little close. Uh, this is a treasure room I do not like the look of. Yeah, no, this this is, this is can go to hell. We're not touching that room. That one's going to take too long to figure out in an environment where we can't afford to, you know, figure stuff out. Um, okay. Look for any potential loot. Good. This man's gonna try to be a. He's gonna succeed at being a jerk. I hate that. Um, Frost Globe could be huge. Just in case. So we've taken a lot of dumb damage. We're in a bit of a weird spot at 108 HP. It's not a bad amount of HP. I wanna make this perfectly clear. It is a reasonable amount of HP. It's just not a lot, a lot. This is a boss. And there is no ground. The exact opposite of what I was asking. Amazing. Oh god, and the floor just fucking gave out. That was fun. I mean, this feels bad, man. I don't know what to do about these tentacles. Okay. So part, so bad. Oh, we're gonna die. We're, we're absolutely gonna die. I can't get out. Okay, well that boss is brutal. Um, We need to like actually tech into that a little bit. 
That hurt my feelings. We got all the curses, we managed to get there, and then we just got slammed. How do you, hmm. Like you have to get above him and then stay above him without like falling down and dying. Like feather fall I think here would be astounding. Um, so you know what, we'll keep that in mind for next time. We're gonna try that on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. And next time, we're gonna go ahead and tackle that challenge one more time. Uh, maybe with a little bit more HP. Yeah, with a little, little more HP. It seems like a, seems like a good plan. Good.